Hi, I'm here with Guy Stewart and Sandro Fabris of Half Moon in Jamaica, the famed resort. And we've got some big news to impart with you today. And this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Guy, uh, you just talked to us about the complete renovation or a renovation of the major part of the famed Half Moon Resort. Uh, tell us exactly what you're doing and when it's going to be ready. James, the, the first news is that we're going to be ready November 1st of this year, 2018. But what we're building is a new entrance to the resort, 57 new rooms, a great house reception, concierge, Lester's Bar, uh, an infinity edge pool, 32 rooms and four cottages type buildings, 16 rooms and four estate homes, an enhanced beach promenade, a poolside bar called Hayward's Grill, a beachside grill, called Spices and a Swimming Lagoon for our guests out in the, uh, in the Caribbean Sea. That's quite a lot. And Sandra, talk a little bit about the food and beverage that you're going to have. We, th that Guy just mentioned some of it. Yes, in addition to all what Guy mentioned, we are going to have also two new restaurants. The first one is a three meal restaurant, which is a new concept where the restaurant will be served by a buffet. However, it is a a la carte buffet. The stove is in the middle of the buffet. The buffet is the counter of the stove. Mm -hmm. So people could go to the buffet and order what they want. So it's going to be fresher and different compared to any other buffet you ever seen. The second restaurant is going to be called Del Mare and it's going to be a island chic style restaurant, seafood and uh, very top quality fish from the Caribbean Sea and elsewhere that is going to be serving in a more Mediterranean way. So we are not going to have sushi and sashimi, but we are going to have crudo, we are going to have crabs, we are going to have a lot of other special seafood dishes, but all with a little Jamaican twist. And in fact, the idea is to make this resort even more Jamaican than it is, right Guy? Well, we want to bring Jamaica into our resort. Jamaica is our host country, and uh, as an iconic destination that the Half Moon is, we need to embrace it and celebrate it. And I think this generation of guests is more interested in learning about the culture and the society that they're visiting, and how we help society in what we do in our travels. And Jamaica and Half Moon uh, can offer that in, in spades. And that includes the artwork. I think you have a lot of uh, Jamaican artists around, and you have pieces around, around the property, right? We have one of the largest, if not the largest, collection of Michael Lester paintings. Uh, we will be having an artist in residence teaching guests how to paint. Uh, she's the only uh, restore authorized to restore Michael Lester paintings, and uh, Janet will be in our, our residence to offer guests that, that program as well. But in addition, uh, the um, rooms that we're building right now, we're using a lot of local artistry and and craftsmen. Uh, we've got a competition with the Edna School of Art in uh, Kingston to uh, populate our rooms with uh, their competitions of, of art creations. Yeah. Now, Sandra, talk a little bit about those rooms. Uh, what, what are they, the new rooms that you're refurbishing, what are they, uh, refurbishing and brand new rooms, what are they going to include? Well, they include all the, what people expect from a room of a five-star hotel nowadays. The big advantage is the outside of the room. They are going to have balcony or patio that is going to be around 310 square feet. Mm. Each balcony will have a, a big sofa for up to three, four people, table with two chairs. So basically you are going to be able from the room not only to enjoy the inside of the room but to have an outdoor living in the room. And they are all ocean front. Mm. 98% of our rooms are oceanfront. Yeah, well, that's amazing. And, and I don't think people may, who don't, haven't been there understand the, the size of the resort. It's 400 acres, right? It's 400 acres, but more importantly, I think for guests who come to a beach environment, we've got about two miles of beach along our coast. And Half Moon is very unusual in that we're a linear resort. We're not a 
you know, a high rise. Everything is landscaped in low density. It's one of our characteristics, one of our backbones that we'll continue to celebrate. Um, and as Sandra said, every, oh, darn near every room is oceanfront. And, and that's what people come to see. They want to hear the surf, they want to touch the sand, and they want to express and, and, and enjoy it. Yeah. Now, Sandra, you, you arrived here a few years ago. Uh, uh, what's your impression of how the resort has grown, and what do you think is going to happen with this new development? I, as I said before, I think this is more an evolution. It's not a revolution. And it's an evolution because the hotel is evolving in the right direction. We are preserving the characteristic of the hotel. We are not changing the resort. Mm. We are just updating a little part of the resort to keep going for the next 60 years. And I think you will. And I have been to the resort, but not for quite some time, but I was incredibly impressed. And Guy, you, you predate me because you, you've been going there since how long? Uh, since I was five. I'm 59 now, so I think that was 1963 was my first trip to Half Moon as a, a five-year-old in the care of my grandparents, who were, my grandfather was one of the original investors in the, in the syndicate that formed the hotel in 1954. So I'm a lucky boy. So this is a labor of love in many cases. Uh, it's, a, it's a passion of mine, absolutely. It's a passion to see the expressions on guests' faces as they embrace staff who've been there for generations as well and they've formed bonds that uh, are, are really ambassadors to the island yeah, well thank you for your time to let us know what's going on with half moon uh, we're looking forward to great things november one right that's the key day that's the key day yeah okay mark thank it down mark it down <laughs> sandra guy thanks very much and i'm james Schillinglaw, and this is insider travel report